Welcome to this early in the morning vlog. It's 5 a.m. in Austria and I have not been sleeping yet. So I've taken a shower and I decided to make this vlog because I have some things to talk about. So there's a lot of things that I want to talk about and I think I'm not going to mention everything because it might get boring or something but I'm gonna mention the most important things for example first thing I'm going to mention is that um, I had this idea since summer 2020 or so to make to make a film or you know just a series about and call it Julie the Teenage Witch. What the fuck? So I had this idea and I didn't make it last summer. So, I, and I'm like, it got into my head today again. I didn't make it. Like, it, it is an idea from a long time ago. So I decided I'm going to do it soon. And first I thought, like, it should be 10 minutes long or maybe 20 at least. And. Now I'm like, maybe I'm going to make it one hour long. The next thing I'm going to talk about is about Neil Sedeka. Oh my God. So the funny thing, I've been watching his mini concerts every single time he uploads. And I just wanted to talk about how he writes the songs because he says that in all in some of his videos. So, first, he... Oh my god, why can I say anything today? First, he he gets inspired by some of the songs he knows, and then he puts up the chords together or the beat, and he just mixes everything together. Several songs, same chords, chords and beat together, and then that's how he got killing the girl. Okay, oh my god. And another thing is, uh, how do you say it? Another thing is again about astral projection. I had this really, really weird, weird experience that I was sleeping. I don't know if this was a dream or if this was real astral projection, but I was seeing myself like I was sleeping probably. And I saw myself, I felt like I'm out of my body, maybe, but that only lasted a few seconds, like, uh, yeah, that lasted a few seconds. I had this two times. I saw myself in a dream, lying, and that, and then I flew out of my body. And that felt so real. I was, it was like I was flying, but I'm not sure if that was astral projection or just a lucid dream. Oh my, so let me just show you what we have in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't, I thought I'd make a vlog about some stuff because it's really boring if I just talk all the time. So let's see what we have. Mm. So this is some whipped cream, I think, yeah. Okay, there we go. So I have not slept at all yet. Okay, here I am. I haven't slept at all yet. I don't know why I took a shower. I was like showering for a bath. Yeah, I took a bath. I was like showering for about two, three hours. And now I'm still awake. Next thing I'm going to talk about some stuff. Motivational stuff. Exactly. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about is about rich people. So, for example, like, two people that motivate me the most are Gary Vee and Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know him probably. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
I'm like, I watch their mo motivational videos and I'm like fascinated by Gary Vee's mentality because he's like, he doesn't care what other people say or think about him. And he's always like, I enjoy the process. And this is so fascinating the way he thinks and lives. Like really fascinating. So the next thing, what I'm gonna mention is Anil Sadek effect. Yes, let's call it that way. So since Neil Sedaka was seven years old, he could already play the piano without any having any teachers. And the creepiest fact is, the, well, let's not say the creepiest fact. It's I think it's rather called the ra the rarest a rare fact. He could play by ear, just picking out a song. It is a really rare skill. I think anyone can learn it, but it takes some time. So, since he was seven years old, he could pick out a song and just play it without any, without any notes. Sheet music paper, you know. Oh my god. So, now, let's talk about, um, how do you say it? The film or series that I'm going to make. I'm going to make them about a witch, which is me. I'm going to play several characters and I'm probably going to make it one hour long. I don't think I will write a script because I, I can play it all through in my head. And then I'm going to upload it to YouTube, maybe to TikTok too, I don't know. And the next fact is, let's talk about some stuff that you can relate to. For example, like... You're waiting for the bus, or I'm waiting for for the bus, at the bus stop. And then you're like, when is the bus gonna come? How long do I have to wait for the bus? And it's a long wait. And you're like, come on, time, go by. And whenever I do something fun, or something I enjoy doing, time goes by so fast. And you're like, where did the time go? I think like everyone can relate at that stuff. Everyone. Okay, so my hands are a bit tired and I think I'm just gonna sit like this for a while. And the next thing that I'm going to mention is... Okay, so my hands are a bit, are a bit tired and I think I'm gonna sit like this for some while. Yeah. And the next thing I wanted to mention is, like, you can probably relate to this too. You're like, dear God, what did I do to deserve this? That's what I sometimes ask myself. And you probably have situations, situations in life where you think of the same thing. Like, what did you do to deserve this? Yeah, that's how life is. And the next thing I'm going to mention is another another saying or thing that Arnold Schwarzenegger said. He said about sleeping, it's so funny. Arnold Schwarzenegger said that you should sleep faster if you don't want to lose time. Oh my god. Okay, so this is our kitchen right here. Okay, now about the film or whatever you want to call it that I'm going to make. Let's talk a bit about that. So I thought that I'm going to write my own music. No, first I thought I'm, I should search for some music and then I'm going to take it. But now I'm like, I forgot that I could write myself. So why should I take some copyright free music? That has already been used probably by someone else. So to be unique, I decided to write my own music, which is gonna take up even more time if I wanna make a one hour film with many effects and an interesting one.
I had this idea since last summer, but I didn't feel like doing it or I had some problems by searching for an editing app, I think, exactly, yeah. And I also still have some unfinished songs that I'm going to write melodies on the piano. And yeah. And I also got this new shirt with a cat on, as you can see. Like, oh my god. So yeah. Okay, now, another thing about the law of attraction. It's a really short thing. I'm not going to talk much about the law of attraction, because I've talked about it lots of times. So I'm just going to say one thing that I heard. I was in a webinar, however it's called, and that guy said, like, in order to attract things that you want to attract, you should change your past, your past memory. And I never heard anyone say that before. So that's one thing that probably is new to anyone. So the next thing I want to mention in this vlog is some weird facts about me. Number one, I learned how to sing by, in, by just seeing how people move their mouth while singing, which is creepy because I think it helps me, which is creepy. Number two, I can play the piano, write my own songs, and I never had a teacher to do that. Like, I never ever had a teacher and I learned it myself. Since 2019, I learned, I got a p piano keyboard. Yeah. Number three. A lot of dead people or people from my family that are dead, I mostly, they, they mostly all visit me, me in a dream. Not all of them, but a lot of them visit me in a dream. Which is creepy. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. I never did this before, but I thought I'm gonna do it just a bit. We also have a room with some stuff here. I never filmed this place, but I thought I'm gonna do it, even if it's embarrassing. Like, oh my god. Okay, I showed you the bathroom, which I never do. It's really embarrassing. Now let's go back to the facts about me. Okay, the creepy fact is that I a lot of times I said it before, and I'm pretty scared now. I'm really scared because a lot of times I feel like I can feel ghosts or spirits, and it really scares me, being honest. And even now I feel like I see someone, I'm scared. It's probably just my imagination, man. Really, it's so scary. Okay, I'm closing the door. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to some facts about me. No, I think I said everything. Okay, next thing I'm gonna talk about. What would I do? What would I do if I met Neil Sedeka? How would my reaction be? Oh my god. So, number one, first, my temperature would rise, then I would be like, stare, of, I would like, oh my god, why can't I talk today? I would stare with a creepy look or a surprised look, and then I would probably scream and cry at the same time, and then I would faint. So these are the steps that would probably happen to me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about, some of my favorite things. For example, my favorite time of the year is Halloween and my favorite season of the year. Okay, yeah, it's, it's autumn because of Halloween. So Halloween is my favorite time of the year. And yeah. And let's go back to my favorite time of the day, which is night. That's why I'm awake. Okay, and before I forget some things, which are probably the last things I'm going to mention, is about Frankie Avalon. 
I just saw that he gained five, five, no, 11,000 followers more. He had 5,000 on Facebook and now he has like 16,000. Like, oh my God, probably because of the live stream that he made. Because I saw last Sunday, he made a live stream, which is amazing. I never thought he would do that. And I just saw the recorded version of it. And he said he's going to show his house. Oh my God. And the most important fact about me is that, let's say my favorite quote is, Fall in love with souls, not faces, which is true for me. But the problem in our world is that most people fall in love with faces they see and not the soul of the person, which is one thing where I'm completely different. I feel that I, I am different from other people, which is probably true because I'm really different. I feel like I was born in the wrong time. Like, I feel like I love old music. I love old style. I love old people. Oh my God, did I say that? No. Okay, now I'm still in the kitchen, as you can see. Okay, we're still in the kitchen and here you can see some of the pictures on the wall. And yeah. Oh my god, my face looks so weird. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to mention is why people have self-doubt. And it's pretty obvious why. Oh, did I say obvious? Because... If other people put you down, the self-doubt comes from them. And in order to stop self-doubt, you have to start to learn how to block your mind from negativity, which I did. Now, anytime bad people like haters, recently some haters on TikTok or Instagram write me bad stuff, people that probably don't even know me. And I'm like, man, how happy am I? Like, they give me energy, man, because my mindset changed. Like, you know how happy I am when haters write me? Because I'm like, you're doing so bad for yourself that you find the time to write me. When you could do other things for yourself, better things, instead of wasting your time writing me bad comments, which make me even stronger. I don't know why. It's funny. Okay, now... I almost forgot to mention some really funny stuff. So Neil Sedeker on his Instagram account, he uploaded a video where he talked about how he started writing songs with Howard Greenfield because he mostly wrote songs with him. And <laughs> I can't stop laughing. He's like, so Howie or his mom heard Neil playing piano. So Howard Greenfield went to him and he's like, Howie, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh my God, not a funny thing comes. He's like, he was an old guy at 16. Like, why on earth? Like, what am I now at 18? Older than, oh my God, this is so funny as well. The way Neil Sedeka talks, it's just so funny. <laughs> okay, next thing. He was so Howie Greenfield. That's the short name. He had a tape recorder, and Neil was like, Neil heard his voice on this recorder. They recorded his voice, and Neil goes like, "Oh my God, I have an extraordinary voice!" Wow. And before I forget it, okay, so Neil Sedeka sang in at least ten languages or more. This is extraordinary and another thing <laughs> i guess i'm laughing as well you should watch his mini concert because it's just funny oh my god i guess i just can say it neil sedeka is like let's see he just takes his sheet music let's see it's so it's so sweet oh my god okay i think that was 
all that I wanted to say. I hope I did not forget something, anything, because I'm gonna end it here. Bye.